Well, Danny, first time speaking to you, obviously, since your whole COVID isolation period. First and foremost, how are you after that? Yeah, it, do you know what? It, it, it knocked my family for six, to be honest. Um, myself and my partner, Claire, were both double jabbed. And I'm, thank God we were, because Claire was really up with it. Um, and it, it, it took it out of me. I don't think I was quite as bad as the first time as I had it. But honestly, you... you you need to, people need to be careful still. I, I know I know that we're back to normal, but still be a little bit cautious because I think that they seem to feel, find these jabs as a shield. And it's I think it takes away the symptoms in the sense of they're not as severe, but it doesn't stop you from getting it. So, but we're all we're all good. I mean, we, we never felt in any danger, which was obviously nice. And my, my my stepson, he's out today, and then my daughter, she's got three or four more days before she's out. But um, but yeah, it's, it's, it was a bit of a surprise to us all, but you know what, we, we threw it and touch wood. We're, uh, we're all safe and sound, so thank you. Brilliant, so of course, obviously that meant you missed the game against Farnborough, so from afar, how do you feel the lads did from that? Um, it was a frustrating one, um, because you, you speak to the staff and obviously I've seen the game, I've, I've watched the game back and there's some real positives that come out of it. There was some real creativity from the team and we probably could have, could have, could have scored 10 or 12, to be honest. Um, I was a little bit disappointed with when we made the changes, how loose we looked. Um, we've brought these players in to try and reinforce us. Um, and unfortunately, some of them just are not up to the level that we want them to be. But it's, it's, listen, it's, a, it's an exercise, it's a run out. We scored a lot of goals. We, we, we showed some, some good stuff and it, it's our first pre-season friendly. So it is what it is. And of course, with the whole, we're talking just before the Sutton game, which is back at Farmer's Ground. It's important for you guys to sort of build that fitness up and look to be ready for the pre -season, uh, season rather. Yeah, I mean, obviously we've we've already spoken previously about the, the the training facility. It allows us to do a lot with the players. We we can get double sessions in, which we we struggled to do over the years because of having to hire facilities, etc. And the lads are working extremely hard, and it's crucial that we fatigue them as much as we can now to build up those levels. Um, and what a fantastic test it will be on Saturday against Sutton because they're a league club now and they'll be full strength and we'll try and be as, as strong as we possibly can. Of course, another thing the lads have got this year is the new gym, the new gym facility that I visited earlier this week. It's a good environment for them to be working in. It's not It's not a David Lloyd. You're not going to go in and see a load of mirrors and a load of lycra flying around and everyone posing. It's a, it's an old fashioned spit and sawdust, get down to the nitty gritty, but it's, the, the guys there are fantastically hospitable. That they've got every piece of equipment we could possibly want to do not only our rehab programs but build a real strong, strong physical side. Um, and they they bent over backward for, back, backwards for us, just like Gordon School have. And we we've we've kind of fallen on our feet with those two two, two environments. And these, this is where MMA fighters and UFC fighters train, and it's quite a humbling environment. And they're very hard working, they're very disciplined, and I think that can only be a good place for our players to work. And is that the sort of ethos and mentality you want to bring into next season as well? Yeah, look, 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 let's make no bones about it. That's the ethos I've wanted from day one. Um, unfortunately, we haven't probably had the characters in the club that have necessarily, I don't know what the best word, promoted that at times. We've had people that have been in the club that actually they'll, they're quite happy to not do as much. This group we've got now, um, and it's ironic because we're the smallest we've ever been in the sense of numbers, this group we've got now, that they're relentless. Listen, they're not perfect. They're not going to get it right all the time, but their work ethic is, is fantastic and I can't I can't ask for any more at the minute. You mentioned the players from last season. Of course, there will be some that unfortunately will not be joining us again next season. No, no, that's right, yeah. Could you give us a bit of an update on that? And where yeah, so look, obviously, um, we, we've we've not offered contracts to, to James Rowe and Alex Finney and, and, and some others. Um, firstly, a huge thanks to them both. They've, they've as, as people, they've been brilliant. Um, Unfortunately for them, with injuries and stuff, it hasn't quite worked out how they would have probably wanted it to work out and how we would have wanted it to work out. One thing that we've had to do this season is we, we've got to make sure that we've got players that can be on the pitch as long as they possibly can be because we are going to have a small squad this year. So it, we can't take many risks with, with players that have got an injury history. And unfortunately, some of the players that we haven't offered deals to, um, that they fall in that bracket. And but as I said, as people, outstanding and we as a club as a person i wish them the very best of luck going forward and of course there might be three more that maybe a few people aren't sure on the likes of you know harrison paniotu ross mccormack chica candy to name three off the top of my head you know is what's the latest on them so ross will be a no um ross is um still he's still trying to manage something with his with his injury that it's not it's not great for him 
um, personally. He's, he's had a really tough time of it and it's not nice to see because he wanted to, to give everything to the club and what an unbelievable character he was for us. He was great around the dressing room with the boys. He He's one that didn't want to take any money once he realised he wasn't going to be able to play. So, like, people talk about ulterior motives and whatnot with players. He, he was spot on and, and again, he's someone else I'm still in contact now. He's actually done some work for the club scouting. Um, he's, 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 he's a great lad and we wish him the very best. Harrison, um, there's a deal on the table for Harrison. Harrison's got um, some league interest and that, that's something we're going to have to be patient with. Um, I can't remember, sorry. Chike. Chike, so Chike, again, financially, we, we were going to put an offer to Chike, but I don't think it's something that he's willing to take. So that's just where we are. Um, on that note, I think when you look at the squad that we've put together, these guys that are at the club are all the shot people, first and foremost. The, the, the salaries and stuff we discussed with them, and, and, and quite a few of them have taken pay cuts um, to, to stay at the club because the, so they know the situation the football club's in, but they know what a great club it is. So they're, they're in for the cause and they're there for the fight. So. Uh, we're delighted to have that before. And there's a few others maybe that could get mentioned. So the, the, uh, where we are is down to you. You like, you know, Caelan Hines who came in towards the end of the year. Maybe a few of the younger lads as well. Ben Schroll, Joe Rebetz, maybe not. Yeah, so much. Ben, Ben, Joe, um, Ryan Hall. Um, we expect deals for them to be sorted out very soon. We, we With them, it's about making sure we can get the, <coughs> excuse me, the loan moves that we wanted to get from last season because um, they need games. And, and I feel for them because, they, yes, they've got appearances between them in the season, but really they needed to be out playing regular football Saturday, Tuesday, getting good, getting good minutes under their belt so we can get them into a situation where we can recall them so they're ready to go straight back in with no real questions. Um, but I, I envisage those deals being done very quickly. Um, Kalen is is in a similar situation to us when he first came into us last year. We need to we need to see that Kalen's at the level we want him to be at from a fitness perspective. And I'm sure that if he can do that, then we'll be able to put something in place for him. And on a more positive ending note, obviously we've just signed a new forward, Corey Andrews. Good to have him on board. What do you expect from him? Yeah, look, we, we f the forward area is our focus at the minute. We want to bring some 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 more firepower in. Um, we've we've got to work on the premise that yes, we we want to keep Harrison. Of course we do, um, but that deal's not been done yet. And until that ink's dry on that piece of paper, we can't take that risk. So we do want to add firepower. And Corey came available. He ticks a lot of boxes. He's got he's got stuff to learn. He's got stuff to do, and he's not the finished article. Because with all due respect, if he was, he wouldn't be coming to us. Um, but he's someone we we're quite excited by because he brings something different than what we haven't had in the last couple of years. And just on that as well, is there any more <coughs> advancements, any more future plans for more players to be trialled and tested over the next few weeks? Yeah, so we've got we've got trials in at the minute. We've we, we've got some lads hopefully be, that will be involved in the game on on Saturday. Um, We've, we've got to be patient now and I don't, I don't want to rush it because we can't afford to get it wrong. Um, with, with, with what we had last season, we were able to take a gamble on a few players. We can't really do that this year. So we do need to try and test them. And there's boys that we've asked to come in that don't want to. They don't. They think they're, I, I, I don't mean it's detriment, detrimentally, but they think they're too good to have to trial. They think they should be offered a deal. We are in a position where we can't do that. We want to see them first. So we'll lose probably a few few targets that we've got. But we've also got some good lads coming in who want to show what they're capable of doing and earn, and earn a deal, which I think that shows, says a lot about their character and about the type of people they are. So just a final message to the fans there then as well, then is, you know, be patient, something will be sorted before then start the new yeah, season. Yeah, we've got, we've got a nucleus of players now that if we had to start the National League on Saturday, we've, we've, we've got our starting 11, I believe is very strong. Um, it needs work. We, we, need to, we need to develop some relationships with the players and we need to work on some systems and some styles of play that we want to implement this year but we've got a group of players. Um, it, it's going to have to be a waiting game. Um, we want to bring two or three more loan players in. Again, we, we want to make sure they're the right ones. And sometimes we need to see them play in their, in their respective clubs first before we can do the business and do the deal. So it is a patient game. We haven't, unfortunately, we, we can't go and do what we would love to do, which is just go and sign everybody we want to sign and put it to bed. We can't do that. So. Um, it gives us an exciting challenge because it's a different one and we have to thrive on that. Are you in with a shot? More information in the description below. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe. Stop.